hello. I hope you're digging the Christmas tree and my party hat. Cost me 3.2 bill in RuneScape. Ridiculous. Anyway, I'm an American. I've lived in London for over a year now. You can imagine, I've made quite a number of faux pas. Little mistakes that culturally, I just don't understand. So without further ado, here are the top five British faux pas I've ever made. Number five. I guess a lot of Americans make this when moving abroad. I swear to God, it happens to me like every other day. There was this girl in class. I said, whoa, that girl's got some nice corduroys. So I went up to her and I said, hey, Carla, I like your pants. Whoa, everyone's insulted. Evan just was cheeky as hell. Complimented that girl's underwear. What's he looking at? Calm down, British people. Hey, come on. Everyone knows that Americans say pants. Just deal with it. Number four. So I was at a party the other day, and my friend Jamie is very well known for having a full-figured beard. He had one in the beginning of the party. However, halfway through, I went out for a little breath of fresh air, and there he is, completely naked on top of his face. And I said, Jamie, where'd the beard go? Have you, have you been shaving this entire time? And he said, no, Evan, don't worry about it, man. I always shave when I get pissed. And I, I put my hand on his shoulder. I said, oh, I, I'm sorry to hear that. Like, is everything okay? Why are you so angry? Everyone laughed. Everyone laughed at me. That was it. Everyone. Pfft, stupid American. Pissed means drunk. <laughs> what? Pissed means angry, not drunk. Well, oh. Here I was trying to be nice. I'm just a stupid American. Number three. I'm sure this is a mistake a lot of Americans have made while abroad, but this one actually occurred to me when I was in California surrounded by my British friends. I was driving through Los Angeles and this person let me take a left turn. So I wanted to thank them. I had both hands on the wheel, but I decided to lift one up and I went, thanks. Whoa, whoa, that literally means nothing to me. Everyone in the car was like, why would you say that to them? Why would you swear at them? They just let you turn. And I was like, I was just saying thank you with my hands. That's not thank you. That is not thank you. Okay, I've also accidentally, someone said, how many of these would you like? And I went, I'll have two, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's just really insulting in England. Don't do it ever. It's, everyone freaks out. It's probably as bad as the middle finger, which I understand. But this uh, peace sign backwards, I, I don't, uh, whatever. Number two, I was making a video with my friend Danny about rules the London Underground. It came to the point where he said, Evan, do you listen to music? And I said, you know what? I do. Sue me. I'm blasting cash on my ears. I'm sure everyone on this carriage can hear me. And you know what? If you don't like it, you could toss me off. At this point, he turned to me and he said, what did you just say? I said, if you don't like it, toss me off. <laughs> At which point, he replied, Evan, I wasn't gonna cover this one, but it's an unspoken rule you cannot toss someone off on the underground. Little faux pas there. In America, that just means to throw someone, you know, off. Throw them off the tube. In England, that means to, uh, perform a little, uh, little something down low. Make them feel a little good. Yeah, uh... Oh my god! I literally said if I'm listening to Kesha, you can wank me. What? Number one. This one's incredibly embarrassing. It just happened a couple weeks ago at work. If it doesn't show you that I still haven't assimilated to British culture, I don't know what will. I'm at work. I made a huge mess all over my desk. There was tea stains. There was digestive crumbs. I'd clean it up. So I went to my boss and I said, Hey man, do you have any spare sanitary towels? To which he said, Pardon me? And I said, I made a mess. I really gotta clean it up. And the females in the office just started dying. And I was just like, what's so funny? I need a sanitary towel. I made a mess. I need to clean it up. Oh my God. If you don't know what that means, I guess because you are American, hopefully. And hopefully you don't know what this means. And I'm not just an idiot. Sanitary towel isn't a towel used to sanitize things, as I thought it was when I used to work at a pizza restaurant. A sanitary towel is a little pad that you put in between your knickers when you're on your period. So I was literally telling everyone, hey, hey, I'm on my period and it's really bad. Please save me. Ah, oh, blood everywhere, I made a mess. I still have a job, so I guess they keep me just because I entertain them. So there it is, my top five British faux pas. I hope you've had fun laughing at my misfortunes. Please do not make the same mistakes I do because it's just incredibly embarrassing. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. <laughs>